Hey guys, so this person wrote a comment that I absolutely love. It says, how can logs and roots both be inverses for exponents? This is such a brilliant question. Let me try to explain it. In short, here's the answer right here. If your variable is the base, like x to the three or x to the four, the inverse would be the cube root or the fourth root. Ultimately, you would use a radical if the exponent was constant and the base was a variable. Now, if your exponent is the variable, so if the x is the exponent, the inverse of that is the logarithm. They are both inverses for functions that use exponents, but depends whether your exponent is the constant or the variable. That's the short answer. Let me show you the long answer. Let's look at something like x cubed equals 729 versus 3 to the x equals 729. So to solve this one, we're going to cube root both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, the cube root is the inverse operation of x cubed. So we're left with x. On the right-hand side, the cube root of 729 is equal to 9. That's because 9 times 9 times 9 equals 729. And we can check our work with this. If we plug this 9 into the x, we'll get 9 to the 3, and that does equal 729. So the process checks out. Now let's look at this one. If we have 3 to the x equals 729, we're going to take the log of both sides. The log of 3 to the x equals the log of 729. I have other videos explaining this, but when you take the log of a number, if it has an exponent, you can bring whatever's in the exponent out front and multiply it by the log. So we can bring this x out front and then multiply it by the log 3, and then that's still equal to log 729. The log 3 and log 729 are just numbers, so we can divide both sides by log 3. So on the right-hand side, we'll have log 729 divided by log log 3. And on the left-hand side, since we're dividing by log 3, it's just an x. So we can plug this into a calculator. Log 729 divided by log 3 ends up being equal to 6. And if we want to check our work, we can plug in 6 into this x up here. That would give us 3 to the 6, and that does equal 729. So this process works. Each of these inverses work for the corresponding function. How exciting.